we actually have to have a conversation with Josh about his addictive tendencies. No, I got. I, I, truly, I'm, thank, thank God you never got the drugs, truly. Because I mean, like smoking <laughs> your weed. Boy, your boy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, I mean, you know what I mean? Come on. Is that even? Well, there's a reason why I never did drugs. Because you would go headlong and I did ecstasy one time in my life. Right. And I had just moved down to Miami and I, I, I was it was a requirement. You, you show up in Miami. Like, here's here's I, eBay. L- l- let, me, plane, let me let me just let me, let me just let me just put let me just paint the picture for you. This is this is me. Twenty five years old. I had just lost one hundred and thirty pounds or whatever, you know, and I just moved to Miami or just to Florida to go to culinary school and some bros from culinary school that moved from Boston, like Maryland. They had like they've been like, hey, bro, you want to go to you want to go to Ultra with us? And, you know, <laughs> two Marylanders are like, so yeah, two Marylanders here being like, what the fuck? I just I specifically remember them, remember them being from Maryland and uh, from Bowie. And uh, they they were like, hey, you want to go to Ultra? And I was from like, yeah, Dun- sure. They're probably I from Dundalk, I actually. I, I yeah, went like, to, hey, hun, hey, hun, you got that good, you got that good. Uh, when I say they were bros, they're definitely eat. bros. You know what I mean? And uh, I got it down by the water. The water? Yeah, I, I I definitely had a good time, you, and I don't did remember you wash any your of clothes it. down by the water. Yeah, did you wash it on? Yeah. You, and then you talked to your I, mother on I, the phone. I lost my clothes down in the pool. And hey, uh, buddy, why don't you go home with your E and just you know smoke some reefer? Yeah, I. Yeah. So, anyways, so bucket list, dog. bucket Maybe list, uh, like, what the achieved, and then uh, you know, I became a a proponent of I am never doing that again because that was way too fun, and I feel like that is a slippery slope that I do not need to go down. But with Pokemon Instead, cards, he, at yeah, least Pokemon cards, at least with Pokemon uh, cards, it's like mobile games. Uh, yo, I, I mean, you know, contest and champion. At least in like okay, so I stopped playing contest champions, but like at least like the Pokemon TCG, like when I buy packs of cards. Hand, at least when I buy packs of cards at the back of it, Josh there's a code card. Ignores every dumb thing we say. Just keep going to the story. <laughs> you, you know, you guys realize I'm a world. I, I, I raid lead in World of Warcraft. Rec- Wait, like, are we I'm used we're to. Yeah. I, yes, okay. we're recording. I'm okay. used to like 23 degenerates being like wish.com, wish.com. Oh, oh you idiot. Com? Because I, they, they like jokingly say that I'm like when you order a master looter and you you get the wish.com version, I'm the I'm the wish.com oh, version. Savage. You know, like, that's, that's savage. savage. That's fucking savage. That's <laughs> there was a joke from like a long time ago, and like usually like probably like probably like ten or fifteen of the guys that come, it's like it has unfortunately followed me for like a very long time, like six months. And it's like I haven't fucked up anything in loot mastering in months. And oh, oh dude. I'm not, I just, I just, okay, I'm not going to interrupt you for. No, I'm you go. Interrupt, for, interrupt, for, interrupt I, me. I to, interrupt me. I need to take a step away from. from, from I'm like actually bleeding pretty good on my leg. Oh yeah, I'm already trying to jump on my yeah. leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just take two. Keep going. I just Let's talk about some. Oh, here, here, here. Let's talk about, about some. A, how, I'll intro. You do the intro. You do the intro. There we go. Intro is in. That's not the. That's not the intro. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Overachievers Gaming Podcast. I am your host, Vash, joined, as always, by the one, the only, the cat poop extraordinaire, Chef Crondo. <laughs> that was supposed to be between us, man. Hey, we're not going to talk. We're not going to. I'm not going to talk about what the uh, what the concept was or what the, the details are, but we're going to just say that, you know, we're uh, the litter box extraordinaire. Yeah, uh, Chef Chef Crondo, um, and then uh, who is not here in present in the front of the camera at the moment, which is Ashi Pastrami, the Fujikina kid himself. I don't know where I'm going with that. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, what's up, everybody? You can find us on Instagram at OG Podcast. Our Twitter is Overachievers P. Our website is ogpodcast.fn, where you get this episode and every episode where we talk about what we're playing, what we're looking forward to, and maybe just maybe a little bit of gaming news. Anyway, uh, I thought Dom was going to be back in time, but apparently yeah, but I was, uh, but no, apparently, nope. you know, look at that, look at that, oh, look at that timing, look at that timing. The timing yeah, was, 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 we just get yeah, back. It was timing. Yeah. It was also, good. It was good timing. Uh, nice headphones, Dom. Oh, you got new headphones. I just realized that. I've had these for like ever. Are you guys kidding me? 
I just no. no maybe no. I you usually use it. usually wear these. Well, so I was using earbuds, but I got these Arctics probably like months ago because um, Polly, my one cat, she chewed through my, through my uh, whenever whenever like we sleep in. When the cats want to get fed. They don't. Uh, they don't like. They don't do normal things. So Polly will. They chew don't just go stuff. meow. No. Meow. Give me a right meow. So she chewed through my 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 little earbuds. No, I got these a bit ago because of that. That wasn't working. They weren't working anymore. So, oh, um, well, they're great they're headphones. Nice. The, was it Arctic? Is that the brand? I guess my my Sony my Sony headphones are starting to fall apart on the pads. You need to get new pads. I'm using some great. basic ass. I I uh, these came with my iPhone. Um, I thought we were flexing. I was just yeah. I mean, it's a good flex. I mean, flexing you know, my I, poverty. An iPhone is a is a, uh, is a flex at this point. <laughs> it's okay because you know what I do. Instead of buying things like nice no, 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 technical audio equipment, technical, sorry. Not instead of buying things like nice uh, technical equipment, I buy things like shiny ass Pokemon in the large quantities. You know what I'm saying? Instead of coming to Comic Con, you, you actually go yeah, and that, just that has connect. that has nothing to do with Comic Con. Me not being able to come to Comic Con. Me, yeah, what do you got to do, Charlie? I can come still. I, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I I got I got tickets. I mean, I have Josh's, so and he already paid for them. So I'm not, if we can find someone who wants, you know, uh, to go, maybe we can get Josh's money back. Oh, do you want it's not that I don't. I'll, it's I'll, not that I'll, I don't want to go. It's that no, it's I okay. You don't want to go. Of, but so I can find. When we post on Instagram, I can post on Instagram. <laughs> sure. Yeah. It's a it's a Friday what, what, Sunday pass. Friday Sunday. Yeah. But says, listen, dude, it's okay that you don't. That's like, okay. That you don't like nerds. You weren't. Like, we you weren't it, here you know? to it's hear okay my reasoning that, as to what my very legitimate reasoning as to why I cannot legitimate go. Legitimate reasoning I, I, is fine. Like we get you're 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 not good in social situations. It's okay. There's a lot of people <laughs> there, and like I know that you're un, you're un your unfathomed fear of hot dog carts will just not let you go to it's, the, the no, you know, okay. you know what you know you know what it I is it. actually actually you know what it is and i'm and dom, dom i've been, be I've been sliding in, skyscrapers i've been sliding in dom's dms a little bit about this but what i'm really scared of is like when they megalophobia no when they set off the Megalo, you know when the phones Megalo, yeah. you know when the phones went off this week and like oh, they did God the, the psa it. like yeah, yeah basically it actually, like it enabled the chip inside of yeah them. dude like y'all are y'all are fucking crazy like i don't want to be in that city man because like the the, the G5 or the, the what is it? The, the M5 G- nanotech. You can't even do the fucking the G5. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You can't even say it right. You the, G, the G5 <laughs> makes, the makes it better. <laughs> fucking wind Dixie motherfucker over here. That's the funny. G5. Oh All right, my well, God. Yeah, uh, Krondo, give, give, give Dom and the listeners the rundown. I'll be back. Uh, this coffee kicked, Wait, in, kicked in immediately. So what I'll be right back. What is there a rundown of? What is there to rundown? What, what is what does that I don't even know. mean? I don't. I've, it, I actually. Was well, I think we were supposed I to think talk he, about. I think he. I think the coffee just hit him like really hard, and he was just like, "Oh shit, I gotta go." I got both. And I got both my coffee and yeah, my protein shake. We're going in water, double dude. fisting got, right now. I got water and Pokemon cards. So, like, anyways, um, this this is not a this is not a sponsored post. I've been drinking this protein shake. Yeah. This this fair life, protein shake, predominantly for the last couple of weeks, and it has been a wonderful. Wonderful uh, breakfast alternative. But you lost a bunch of weight. Dami has lost so much weight. Yeah, I'm not eating a bunch of bacon and eggs every morning. Now. Oh, not the not the bacon and eggs, man. Can't sacrifice the bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs are truly are delicious. They are life. What kind of eggs do you like? What's your favorite eggs? Me? Yeah. Oh, bro. What's your favorite po- style? Poached eggs all day, every day. Oh, po- poached eggs are yeah. truly wonderful. I mean, I mean like I, as a I, chef, like, like I, I feel like. like yeah, it's. I mean, it's just like the best, in my opinion. But eggs Benedict might be. I think when I go to a, a a more more if I go to like a cafe, I'll get like an eggs Benedict. But if I'm at like a diner, I just want like either ham and eggs or bacon and eggs. Yeah, like, like sunny ham, side like up, right? Steaks. You gotta have a sunny side I, I, up. Well, I like or a fried uh, egg. I, I got um, uh, over medium. Oh yeah, over medium. Yeah, because you like the, you like the yolks. We have like a little cook, I like the cook consistency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Sunny side is too too snotty, too runny, <laughs> too and runny for you. Over over hard or hard over whatever the fuck. Yeah, it's where it's too, just it's it, just cooks know, like a it too much. Yeah, but like over medium, you get a little break, you get a little bit of run still, but it's not like gooey. It's, or it's not like not gooey. I like the gooeyness. It's not a. Uh, it's not gross. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, boogers. You know, that's why I feel like sunny side is. Um, I can't believe Charlie just like abandoned us. He just like yeah, go ahead. He just, just get, took like, off, doing? dude. All right, chef, give him the rundown. Like, of, yeah. <laughs> of what? Um, <laughs> or, or you can find us on uh, t- 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 Overachiever oh, Speed. No, no, I guess he didn't. But whatever, oh. who cares? Like, um, 
one of these days when I pull my head out of my ass and I decide to pull up, post on our TikTok, uh, that's when you guys you can tune in. I know. Yeah, we, we, I would I would post on it, but like, the, I mean, okay, so are you still posting? On t- I, I am. Actually, yeah, I, have, I don't have a TikTok. That's yeah, I'm, actually, I got to do I got to do another video today, but uh, I'm learning like what's good and what's not good. But uh, videos are really cute, dude. I, I I hope you feel good about them because they're really cute. They're yeah, nice. I actually I did a, I did a Lo-fi. really so I did a, I did a really good one because my. Uh, well, I haven't I haven't done it yet, but I I, I recorded a good uh, setup for one two two videos because uh, number one the uh, the so the Scarlet and Violet one fifty one set that I've been opening up. I mean I've got uh, we won't talk about how much I've actually invested in this, but it's a it's a significant amount. And uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I had um, uh, refinanced my mortgage. I've uh, yeah sold, no well, sold, for- I sold our tray uh, tray he's actually <laughs> doing it. Fortunately, home. I actually got. I fundraised most of it uh, prior to when it came out, but then I got I got a little dumb and did some impulse buys. But uh, it's been worth it because I've had a lot of fun. But anyways, yeah. we the uh, the ultra premium collection came out, which is like this big box, and it's basically got like sixteen packs in it. And uh, my friend uh, Sierra came over on Friday night, and she has way better luck opening cards than I do for whatever fucking reason. And so I set it up where. Um, she opened the first eight packs and I opened the second round of eight and it was like uh, me yeah. versus her. And it's like night and day difference. How dog shit my luck is in comparison to her. Like she pulled like straight bangers and I pulled like a, a trainer card, like right, a very right. like weak full art trainer card, you know, and she pulled out like a full art Blastoise and a full art Zapdos and like these like really create like some of the best cars in the set. And uh, so that, that I'm going to make a video with that. And then uh, the other one, uh, last night I was opening cards with my homies and I opened up a trainer box, which is nine packs, sucked ass. I opened up two more, sucked. I opened, uh, I got these little mini tins that have like Dude, two you're packs literally each. gambling again. Yeah, basically. But um, at least I'm recording it all. So like I am turning this stuff into content. You know what I mean? So like yeah. it is gambling, right. but like I'm, I am kind of using it and uh then i then i opened up they they came out with this uh zapdos collection box which has four packs in it and uh i op- on the last pack i opened up a full art zapdos which is worth about like 60 bucks so and the, well, i mean the sick. the collection box was only like 22 bucks so i definitely like, have a lot of like content that i have of, of that i'm going to turn into videos over the next week right. but uh it's been it's been a lot of fun i still can't get a charizard charizard full art is like the fucking one i can't fucking pull and it's so frustrating because you go on reddit and you'll see like so many posts i it's just it just infuriates me where it's like oh my god first pack magic and it's like i got the fucking charizard i'm, sh- I'm literally shaking like, um <coughs> is like not real though hmm right of course of course of course but i mean there, you know there are people out there that does happen to and it's oh, so i mean yeah statistically it, it, has to ha- it has to happen there was like um there was a, a a pro magic the gathering tournament like a decade ago this was like forever ago okay and um it was they were playing a format called um um uh limited yeah where okay. that's not the format but that's like the type but the format yeah. of that they were, they were doing sealed i think it was and sealed is when you or draft. No, it's draft. Draft is when everyone gets a pack and there's eight players. You crack the pack, take out a card you want, and you pass it to the next person. You build a deck based off that. The the, the packs make it all the way around eight times. And everyone makes a deck based off that. One of the pros, he opened his pack and it was a foiled Tarmogoyf, which if you don't know, Tarmogoyf is one of the rarest uh, of the older sets of magic cards worth like a lot of money. And it was foiled. So and he's on camera and like he, he cracks it and you know, it's like the face down, face down camera and he cracks it. Yeah. And he's like, he's like shaking. He takes oh, it out yeah. and he, he kept it, but like, yeah. it's not, it wasn't a very good card in the moment. Yeah. And so people gave him shit cause he kept the card for, for a like value purpose and not to win the tournament. And he got a lot of shit for it, but he kept, he got, I mean, he got a full time fucking tarmac life. Like, you know what I mean? Like, wait, like, what do we say? Funny. Um, uh, and so that's why I decided I really don't like people without hair on top of their head. Right. That was right. the situation. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, yeah. I don't either. That's great. So, <laughs> I, how, a, how, was a, your, how was your deuce? Do you have your coffee or was it booming? Uh, it was like, I didn't, you know, I just woke Wait, did up. Did you go get coffee or you went to poop? I don't I went understand. To poop. Oh, I went to poop. I, was like, I knew it. I knew it. Already? I knew it. He yeah. It's just nor- normally it's was. normally it's like, you know, half hour, 45 minutes. It's fine. But this was just like coffee. It's like, oh, hey there. 
Oh, hey there. Funny. Not that everybody needs to know if my uh, <sighs> whatever body so, type is. Like. Anyways, so even I will say this much: even though I am buying a shitload of Pokemon cards, I started playing the actual trading card game. Okay. So I am actually not just not just amassing this horde of shiny Pokemon. I am actually playing the game and trying to use some of these things. And uh, it's actually kind of crazy how few of the cards are useful <laughs> when you start like figuring out what's good in the game. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I've put my deck, I'm, I've got about like half my deck constructed and I'm uh, going to go to, uh, I'm going to go to a local tournament and I'm going to see how I do and see how it goes from there. Oh yeah, dude. Playing in, I'll tell you right now, from someone who just really enjoys playing, um, Junie, what are you doing? You got a guest? Well, it's because it's starting to get, my room's a fucking mess. Usually it's blurred when I do, uh, where it calls, uh, in, in the winter. It's June, all based like, around this guy right here. Um, playing in like things like this competitively is super fun because you, you get like a different kind of appreciation, like the things that you own, like the models, like, you know, I build and paint a ton of models in Warhammer that not barely any of them will see play. But the nice thing about like doing competitive things like this is you like build your, you build your shit out, you go to do this. You're like, Oh, well this really performed well that performed. And you like tinker with it. And it just gives you like a different kind of appreciation. Like I'm doing actually crazy enough. I have like, pretty busy like tournament like season coming up for me i'm, I'm nice. going to boston in december for a, a, a grand tournament which is like a 200 person warhammer tournament no shit okay go, in january i'll be in vegas for a thousand person warhammer do you tournament. get like ranked when you go to these tournaments yeah 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 yeah, yeah like, so it's it's, a, called, it's like a world championship right yeah well yeah it's it, it, yeah, I guess. Well, you, I it's, only, it, it all goes America, towards like a. It does. Okay, yeah, but, there's like a point system. It's called uh, Best Coast Pairing. Is is the is the tournament organization? No, not the tournament organization. Oh, ITC. That's what it is. ITC is the uh, is who like does all like the rankings and stuff. Like last year, I finished with with Leagues of Votan, the main faction I play. I finished like I think top hundred in the world, uh, which was really cool because I didn't really play that much big tournaments. Or anything, but you know, but I would like to do more. I wanted to do more this year, but there was a new edition that just came out, and the whole everything was really fucking weird about it. Next year, I'm gonna care more about it, I think. But in January, that will end out this year, like 2023's competitive season. So, so it, I didn't really do too many tournaments, so it really won't really matter for this year. But yeah, December, I'm going up to Boston. January is the Las Vegas Open, which is like a thousand pe person, it's like a, a massive. And then in February, I'll be in Rhode Island for a grand tournament, which is like, again, like 200 people. And so I'm okay. trying to like okay. do more of those big ones because it's really yeah. fun. Like, you know, usually like it's like five or so of us that will travel to these from like the shop I play at. And like, it's just like, it's, it's like kind of a silly, fun thing. Like I'm going, bringing my, my, my little magnet case and like, you know, bringing all my stuff. Hey, and, dude, you're talking to a guy like, that's sitting here and sat here for four hours last night and organized his fucking Pokemon cards to put together well, a deck. So. Them, so how, what, like, what is just like the rundown of a, also my app is focused. Why does it say it's not focused? Oh, cause I was clicked on the, 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 uh, the my oh, an actual Pokemon game. Yeah, I'm actually. Oh, yeah, I'm watching a Pokemon. Game. No, yeah, I want. I want. I'm just. Oh curious yeah, like, yeah. So, so like this, you draw. Like, what's your what's your hand? Seven cards. Yes, but you like at the beginning you pick six out and you have to put them at, to the side as prize cards, and like oh. you can kind of think of your prize cards as your like health pool, okay. and because uh, once it, there, there's two there's two uh, two ways to victory. Number one, if you, each person has to have an active Pokemon, right? So like when you get your first hand, if you don't get an act uh, Pokemon you can put out, then you take a mulligan and you have to redraw until you have at least one first turn. Both, per, both people take their turns. Um, the, it's like the staging phase, I guess you could, you could think of it as, and you put out your active Pokemon and then you can put out any other regular ones on your bench. You can have up to six on your bench. Okay. And some diff, some Pokemon have abilities you can use during your turn from the bench, like Pidgeot, oh, cool. like Pidgeot, for example, has an ability called quick search where you can once per turn, look through your deck and pick out any card you want. 
So, so the, the stuff in the stuff <laughs> on your bench is interactable, even though it's not that's correct. Game. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, yeah. That's cool. So like I load my bench up with all I try to load it up with like two Pidgeot EXs because then I can look through my deck twice per turn and pull out any card I want twice. And that's it pretty becomes pretty fucking OP. You know what I mean? Very fast. And it can spiral out like within two to three turns for the enemy. But like the other the other caveat to winning is the other condition is if you kill the active Pokemon and the opponent doesn't have anybody on their bench, you instantaneously win. And I was, that's Charlie. When I came in winning, when I came in laughing my ass off earlier, that's what I did. Like unbeknownst to like what I was setting up for turn two, like I was doing all these things to this guy and I didn't even look and realize You're that like, online? yeah, I play online. Is it and, through like um, official Pokemon or is it through? Yeah, like, there's like an actual, so, so like when you open a pack of cards at the end of the pack, there's like a code card. Um, I don't know. I had. I used to have a million. Of them. I just cashed all of them in. But you get like one code card. It's like a digital pack in the game, right? Oh, so like cool. I've redeemed like hundreds of packs, basically from yeah, like all the stuff thing that with I've magic. opened. That's, that's what I would do, kind of similar similarly with magic. It's funny you mentioned yeah. that, that bench thing. That does not exist too much in magic, where you could take like you have a sideboard, but that yeah. just means like in between games you get to shuffle in sideboard cards into your regular, right. game, depending on who you're playing against. But there are some cards, very rarely. That allow you to interact with things outside of your normal game. Gotcha. And there used to be this one card that said um, you could like, like very simple terms. Like you could add in like while you're playing, you could add in a card from outside the game. There was no rules on what that meant. What? So it was literally people would literally bring like a million cards with them and then they would they like oh i'm playing against this i'm gonna add in some fucking that's the dumb that, 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 i know so. one time at one time there was a big tournament and this person <laughs> had this card you know they're playing against someone that was about to beat them and they knew another player had this like other busted card they literally were like yo let me get that card let me borrow your card and they took the card in from a different player because there were no fuck rules the around fuck, man i, I, I no, mean there, there were no rules around that and that you know what i mean I, I, you know okay so so let me, <laughs> let me finish explaining so so with po- so with pokemon again like there's so each time you kill the enemy's active pokemon that's how you win a prize card and there are like V star and uh, EX cards. V star and EX are usually like the evolved versions of Pokemon or like mm. the better versions, and they award two prize cards if they're killed. So, anyways, the game the game's pretty cool. I've been having fun with it. I've been learning a lot of the different decks, and uh, I'm looking forward. So, they actually, the cool thing is that the league I'm going to is called the Masters League, and it's only for people that were born before 2004. So, I won't be like total you know anyway i i i i you won't be I, a creepy uncle exactly because like I, I i i called the store and i was like bro like i don't want to seem like if I, like, I i'm just like i've been collecting and I, I just thought it'd be cool to like check it out and he's like oh yeah no man he's like usually people are he's like i get a lot of dads and you know like older dudes that are in here and i was like perfect like that's what i'm looking at like that's i don't want to go play with a bunch of kids like i would feel like actually like a fucking loser if i went and and it's like ha kid i beat you with because i have a i have a job where i make all my money and i can buy whatever the fuck i one you just got stomped like that would feel like actual I saved up all of my, yeah. my <laughs> I actually have a, I have a hilarious story if you want to hear about beating a pot. kid why like, did you do that the first yeah, so you like a, normal, cry, didn't you? a normal a normal warhammer like a, a local warhammer tournament is called an rtt okay stand for rogue trader tournament okay like back in the 90s but now you just call it rtt that's just like your local shop puts it together but those points go towards your your like uh, itc ranking hilariously enough. okay but so the first time i ever did one i was so excited i brought my army that i just finished painting it was like the egyptian dudes the the thousand sons that was my first okay. time two other people were playing thousand sons at this tournament i i went uh i was i was i lost two games or i, I may have lost i don't whatever it was my third game i ended up going one and two at the tournament so i i, went, I was like one and one at this point I my third game was against this young kid named Connor who was like ten I think at the time super sweet kid plays the shop all the time everyone he's like everyone's favorite like like kid at the store everyone's like oh Connor really like, high fives all the adults like you know he's like a super kid he like tries to be funny like you adult beat jokes, this kid's not, ass like, didn't you I'm, so I, I'm I, waiting well, I beat him yeah so <laughs> I beat him and he, we shook hands he was like so he was super like like straight face yeah. by we shook hands he like, oh yeah. thanks you know I was like oh thanks Connor yeah. and he walked away and I see him go to his dad he starts crying how old is this kid. Like, he was like probably 10. Oh, and I was like, I was like, fuck, dude, no fucking way. And I go, I'm like, Connor, what's wrong, dude? And he's like, 
you know, he's like, I'm not sad that I lost. And this was actually like a very, like, he like put, he said this very like, um, maturely. Yeah. But he's like, I'm not sad that I lost. It was a really fun game. He's like, I, I played against your army three times today and I just didn't have fun. Like he played against three, all three thousands of his players at this tournament. And oh, he's like, and he's like, it was the same game for three games and it just wasn't very fun. He's like, you didn't yeah. do anything. I'm like, I'm sorry. And he's like, he's like, I was like, dude, you're fine, buddy. You know? And I went, I, I went back to like my, my, like getting my stuff ready. I'm just sitting there like, I will not be responsible for making a 10 year old cry. So I went to Zeke. It's not really your dude. fault, man. Like, I mean, I it's really I mean, my fault. But, I, but again, I don't give a fuck that's my fault or not. I don't, I'm playing with plastic toys. And I was like, yeah, Zeke, I was like, you know what? Uh, I messed up my scoring. I think Connor won. And Zeke's like, and I was like, yeah, I think I, I messed up. Connor won. And I, and, and you know, went back over to Connor. I was like, dude, I, I, I did the math wrong, Connor. You actually won by a couple points, dude. This was, this was your game. You got it. And this kid was like, fucking Christmas. Cause he, he won a game <laughs> today. And I was like, yeah, dude, all good. And someone was like, "Oh, you know, like there was a lesson there." I was like, "Listen, I'm not here to give a fucking ten year old a lesson in, I in, with playing dice. Like, I, I don't give a fuck." Because yeah, I got my. Who, I remember. I remember when I was like, but I think when I was like thirteen. Happened, maybe that uh, that's happened to all of us, right? Yeah, like, I it got, doesn't even matter. Man, but I, I remember I got I, fucking I didn't, stomped in Star sure. Wars tournaments, dude. And and those dudes fine. used to like, just kick know, my ass and not feel bad about but I, it. I, but I'm not trying to be those. And they would get shit. pissed when I beat them too, dude. Yeah, oh, and I, and they'd be so mad. I, I think the the lesson here is to not be like those. Yeah, the lesson is to not be a, an asshole. Yeah, yeah. So oh, I, like, I felt I so good like, to be the kid and beat the beat the older pe- older people, dude. The only reason I ever I ever <clears throat> regret letting Connor win is for like a month straight. He'd come up to me like, "Oh, dude, I remember I beat you." <laughs> I was like, "You little fucker." I I'd be like, like, "I'd be like, uh, like, I mean, you know." He was like, "Do you want me to like actually let me think on that? I we can replay that again, that dude. Game, I got, I got my, I got it. my army with me, dog. You know, yeah. we can, we could re-simulate this shit. You know, I've beaten Connor. Well, since then, I've beaten Connor. <laughs> I, I was like, get, everyone gets one kid. <laughs> everyone gets one. Yeah, everybody everybody gets one. one. You get everybody one. Gets one. Everyone gets a gimme. You've been, you've been popping yeah. your mouth off. So now yeah. I'm gonna have to. No, but he's like a super sweet kid. He's he's the best. Connor Connor's a really he's a good dude. But yeah, I I was just like I'm not gonna be the responsible here for this. So Dom, like, like when you were, I'm, I'm curious because, like, I, I, yeah, I know when you when you're getting ready to go to your first uh, Warhammer tournament or whatever, like, did you go into it just just automatically saying like I'm just gonna get, I know I'm gonna get stomped today. So when I went to for in this year, I went because I went to Vegas in January for the, my first time I ever did it. It's called a super major. Mm-hmm. That's where the Las Vegas Open is. Mm-hmm. When I went to Vegas, it was like ten of us. It was so tight. I fully was going for the experience. I thought I was just going to lose like every single game. I expected yeah. every single yeah. person to, there to be a pro. Mm-hmm. But the cool thing about these tournaments is that's not the fucking case. There's like yeah. so many people playing. It's other people just like me. Yeah. The Unless you statistically get, cause like once you play your first game, you already know what the end, the end is going to be because the, the pros are the ones that are there winning by a hundred and then they get, they get their next matchup and they're going against other people that won by a hundred. And so mm. their, their path to the top is already, been selected from turn one yeah interesting so like, for me i was like oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna go fucking oh like uh fucking oh and eight or whatever because it's like you know you get like a million matches at the big tournaments you know at the at the local thing it's only three but like the gt i'm playing a grand tournament which is a major in december that's five matches three the first day two the second day so like when i went to vegas I was like oh i'm gonna get fucking stopped i'm gonna go oh and six i'm gonna get so messed up but i went three two and one i had one draw which was annoying so i, d- I did way better than i thought i ever could have done going to vegas to play a large warhammer tournament so that was really but i expected that when i go to the local things i don't really give a fuck i'm just playing with my buds like i'm just yeah to, yeah like, yeah silly you know but like well, i've been playing ones, oh i've been playing a lot of the online thing because i want to like i basically built my deck on there practice. oh dude That's i'm really- like I'm you know? stomping people right now. And I mean, I'm like Josh is out here playing bots. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, dude. Like, <laughs> like they take they just, way they, just, they take no dude. Like like I actually like I I had to like funny. check that's, myself. That's, that's, I had to funny. check myself the other day because like I thought Wait, about it and I was like was I was funny? like, man, like yeah, I'm sitting here that. like talking shit. Like I just I just I inherently just like I just love to talk shit. Like I just it's just part of who I am. Such a fucking I gr- 
toxic game. No, I grew up at the Halo 2 era, bro. We used to, I, I'm from the OG era. I'm gonna fuck your mom, okay? Like, I'm a fine. Like, you know, like, I'm from that, like, that the way back in the but day before Pokemon, they had. Josh, it's yeah, not Halo. So, you can't so so check it out. I know. So, like, playing Pokemon. So check it out. I know. I know that. that. I know that. I'm not. Oh, I'm can not. Can, like, can, hold can, on. Can I didn't you, even can you imagine what Mallory just heard in the next room? Thank God she's gone. Thank I would not have been screaming that if she was home still. She, hold on, she's, hold on. At, she's doing hold on, flower hold shit. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know, I know that. That's why, like, the other day, like, I, I, I had I've to check myself my trap because Go fuck yourself, bitch. <laughs> I had to check myself because, like, I'm like, man, I could possibly be playing know, against like a. I, I, I had to check. I had to check myself because I'm like, man, I could be playing against like a nine year old kid, and I'm over here like talking shit. Like, yes, I'm like I gotta stop doing this. But nonetheless, like, I uh. Nonetheless, I told the kid to I, get uh, fucked. I did. Uh, yeah, I'll give him the. I'll give him the. Game? I'll give him the thumbs remember, down all day long, dude. I'll talk shit that, through uh, the emotes all day. What was that mobile MOBA game that came out for Marvel a while ago? Do you remember? Uh, Mar- the MOBA one. There was the MOBA. a mobile. Oh MOBA. Yeah, yeah, the one that never actually released. It was only never on, got released in America. It was yeah, only ever. I know you're talking about. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, remember <laughs> I remember trying it out. It's like yeah, I remember Champions playing of Power it. or something like that. Or I remember playing it. And I was fucking killing it. I was like, mm-hmm. yo, yo, yo. And Super War. Someone, That's right. Yeah, yeah. Super yeah. War. We had someone on the pod. And I was like, yo, guys, I'm fucking killing it. And they're like, yeah, dude, you don't get matched up against bots. Like, until, uh, until, like, was, I was, do remember that. I do remember was, that. Uh, yeah. It was Hooch, I yeah. think. Yeah. I think yeah. it was. And I was yeah. like, yeah. I was like, yo. I, do remember <laughs> I, remember, I was like, yo, I'm just fucking slamming it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, because so there's funny. not enough people. So. Dude, that was so funny. I was like, yeah, you're only playing bots. Of course. Yeah, that's me. Slamming. That's me. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm just so playing good. against bots. Damn. That was so. Damn, yeah, so funny. that was what funny as video shit. Games though. That we're playing. Well, before uh, we get into video games, uh, Dom, uh, I actually started building my own. That's true. Army. Yes, that's true. Oh, did you Charlie finally start an army? He well, started building and painting some of the stuff he had. So you got your Necrons, your Space Marines, then you got my Age some of Sigmar. Orcs, and you got uh, some Stormcast. So you yeah, got, you got both. You got both. Oh, did that? Did that link? That Reddit link? Did you find instructions? Uh, no, I haven't. I didn't get into that yet. So okay. I was in the. I was in the middle of just trying to get everything painted black first because some of those things are like I'm like I don't know how I'm going to get in here with a with a paintbrush to. So that's paint some the of this nice stuff. thing about it, right? Like if you have um, uh, so okay, so like these guys, I don't know if I, how I'm going to be able to do this. So you don't have to get in every crevice, right? So like here is this. Here's like this little. Uh, is it is it focusing? Getting there. Yep. Yep. So this this is like a thunderkin, right? So if you can see behind the gun and under this little bar he has, that's like part of his suit and shit, right? Yeah. I'm not painting under the I'm not painting under yeah. under the gun. I'm not painting back in there. There's no there's no you don't need there's no point. There's no reason. You're not going to see it. your players your if you want though, which some people do. So these little guys, right? I built these guys like they had this big ass gun. You can see the chest. So I wanted to paint that. So what I did was I did what's called batch painting. So this isn't, but like I painted it without the gun on the chest. Yeah. And then I later went on, actually I, I magnetized every single one of these cause uh, they I have different weapon loadouts. It doesn't matter. Uh, so every single <laughs> I mean, one of these cool. little guys that's has magnets cool. in the arms so I could switch out. Magnets the in guns. the arms. I don't know how you do that. Just glue. <laughs> yeah. Well I have <laughs> a Dremel so, and glue. I have a little Dremel. Yeah, I have a little fucking hand uh, Dremel, like a little, like a little, tiny little hobby uh, drill bit. And I, I drill into the arms. I have like, you know, teeny tiny little magnets. I put them into the arms. I put them into the, yeah, into That's the cool. body. That's cool. Because well, like, here's the thing. Some tournaments do what's called WYSIWYG, which stands for what you see is what you get. So some tournaments are like, if your guy's modeled with an axe, he has to play with that axe. Or if your guy's modeled in a way that it it doesn't work, that guy just doesn't come up onto the board. He's dead. So you're out a model in a unit. So like some are very strict about it. It's not usually the case, thank God, but some are pretty fucking strict about it. So like I, I made sure that the one I play mostly with tournaments, which are Leagues of Otan, my space dwarves, I'm like fairly able to like switch shit out on them. Which otherwise would be really annoying, if, you know. But yeah, I mean that's uh, cool. I'm, I mean, I got in. It's, it was cool to get. You don't into have the, to do any of that shit. Yeah, not yet. I'm, <laughs> I'm just getting to the point. Like, I want to, 
I want to paint I'm them. I want to, build, yeah. I just want to paint them, them and I'm going to, you know, my wife and I are going to try to play some local stuff. Not local, but like her and I are going to oh, play yeah, some think, skirmishes. Man, try it out. So, it'd be cool. I mean, that's what I want. <clears throat> that's what I want to do. We used to be, we used to be big into um, just like board game stuff anyway. So it's kind of, I like the skirmishes and trying to figure out some things. So Hell I read yeah. through, <clears throat> excuse me, I read through all the uh, rule books and uh, the lore and everything. That's It's cool. But, so the rule books that you may have, if they came with the stuff you bought at the time, Charlie may be outdated at this point because there's a new edition. Um, but all of the rule stuff is now online. There's two apps uh, that Warhammer puts out and they both give you the rules for free. There's Warhammer 40K and that has all of the rules for the game for free. That's updated constantly. Mm-hmm. And there's Warhammer AOS, which is for Age of Sigmar also has all the rules for free. Um, so if you, if you download those, you'll be able to, to check back up on whatever gets updated at the time. Um, but also like the, the way you learn to play this game is you, is you act or you just play it. Like it yeah. makes no sense, but you're just like, Oh, I'm slugging dice. And, you, and it gets figured out. Dude, that's fast. literally how I, <laughs> I, di- I didn't do any tutorials or read any instructions on how to play Pokemon TCG. I quite literally just like started playing a game and lost like the first five games. And then I just started stomping people against yeah. the bots. Um, and uh, not really, but like it, it's, not really. Yeah, I think it's a bit like you were saying. It's the best way to learn. Just get in there and get, Truly, get started. It's the best. It's the like, best way to learn. Yeah. You just, you just it's, play. It's cool. I mean, when I had my lunch hour, uh, I would just sit there and I'd eat in five minutes, and then I just sit and build. And then there's I, just, a, I painted everything yesterday, so, or blocked yeah. everything out yesterday. Yeah. There's you another black, game that I want to play really badly, Disney Lorcana, but I cannot get the fucking cards, oh. dude. Like they're so hard to get right now. Like scalpers are going absolutely buck shit crazy for it and it's just uh like they can walk into target or walmart or whatever clean the shelves off and spit, throw it up on facebook marketplace and sell it like it's instantly crazy, for my like local, twice the price the shops i like, don't even they're not, either they're not getting them or it's like it's fucked up um no the local shops really aren't there but the, most of the distributors are pushing it out through the the big box stores and um it's just flipping like instantaneously That's and crazy, uh dude. yeah and uh, the the second print of the game. So I've been like, ball, so I, actually, I didn't even say this earlier, but I uh, the, earlier on Friday, I got my official uh, notice that Florida Man's Pokemart is a licensed business in the state of Florida. Oh, congratulations. Um, yeah. So um, I've been like, obviously, really heavily researching like what's popular in the trading card game world right now. And ironically, in a weird way, like, Magic's probably lower on the totem pole. For some reason, One Piece has a trading card game that yeah, is. Yeah, we, yeah, we talked crazy. about that last time. Yeah, I did. I did talk about that last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just really it's actually like the new set came out like the same time that or like set four I think came out the same time that One Fifty One came out like a couple weeks ago on the twenty second, and it's just like bonkers to me like watching how much how much like money people are spending on these games. Like it's actually mind blowing yeah. to me. And uh, it's, it's taken, it's definitely taken over like my interest a little bit on uh, more so than video games, mostly because um, I really haven't liked a lot of the modern video games that are coming out. And I feel like we were talking about this earlier this week with Hooch. Like he was asking some questions about like how we feel about <laughs> modern day video games and things like that. And that's just like, I don't know, like Baldur's gate would probably be the exception of where I say like 90% of modern games just don't keep my attention for more than like a couple hours. And this stuff's like really interesting to me. And I don't know. I like the idea of the fact that you can like go out and meet, meet other people that are into it. And it's a little bit less reclusive of a hobby, you know? And I think that's what I was looking for is like something that's gaming related. That's not as, not as uh, <laughs> all I do is sit at home. Like, yeah. wow. <clears throat> I feel that. But yeah. So I'm pretty excited to get into it. I'm, I'm I'm excited to get in my first match and see how I how 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 we how it goes and like whether or not I get my match. ass. Yeah, like I'm I and I and I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna like rip off the band aid and just go straight into a league match. Like I'm not even gonna like bother with matter. with going to like you know the lo- local tournaments or whatever because I don't really want to go. I'd rather just show up. No, people don't know who just I am. Money, and throw just, money at the problem. Yes, go for it. It's only ten bucks to get in the tournament. I'm just saying. Yeah, go for it. Like I I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna I I'm fairly confident that i'm going to stomp people with this deck either that or i'm going to get stomped absolutely annihilated and i'm going to come back on the pod in like three weeks and be like well 
week one tournament, Chef Crondo right. got ass stomped by Palkia and the whatever, like, you know, some nine year old kid named Connor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> some nine year old kid named Connor just stomped me into oblivion. So like, uh, I went in the car and called my dad and started crying, you. talking about thank midlife that. crisis. That, uh, he went, dad. I just got beat by this eight year old Connor. It's been like two thousand dollars. Getting on younger Pokemon every cards. single time I mention. Yeah, that's <laughs> really funny. Did I see you. Uh, you said eight. eight. So I've been playing video games. That's been cool. Oh my god! Oh, what are you playing? Tell. I know. I've been. Uh, well, Counter Strike Two came out. Oh, isn't that hilarious? Official. Yeah, they stealth came out <laughs> with Counter Strike Two. Like Valve is just like, oh, here by the way, here's Counter Strike Two. Everyone. It was like a week or two ago. Really? Um, yeah. And so I used to be a big Counter Strike head when I was a child, when I was like literally in high school. Me and my, me and my one of yeah. my best friends, Vinny and Render, we would, there was a place in the mall because both of us had like really shitty like gateway PCs. There was a place in the mall called Games Three or something, and uh, you can go and you could pay fifteen bucks and play all day anything you wanted. They had a bunch of computers. They had all the Xboxes lined up, so we would show up and we both just play Counter Strike. Um, and then finally, as we got a little older, our computers could handle a little bit better. But hmm. um, yeah, I used to love Counter Strike so much when I was a kid. I was so bad at it, but Counter Strike Two came out and it's free. You know, like they, the, like that's the cool thing about Counter Strike is they're just like here's this game. Valve is like that we just do this shit. <laughs> um, and so uh, Counter Strike Two came out. I've been playing it very casually, and. Uh, I'm just so bad at it. It's like hilarious how bad I am. <laughs> yeah. I am. Well, you're you're not you're not practiced. Like the people that are playing that shit have the mechanical skill of like instantaneously right. headshotting is, you with shit. I I'm curious of like getting into it a little bit more competitively, but I had yeah. to stop the other day. <laughs> like it's like the most Counter Strike bullshit ever. I got called the N word twice. And I was like, okay, I'm yep. done playing this for the day. Yeah, that's like, common. This is, kind of, that's this, common. Is, this this is Counter Strike in a nutshell yeah. right here. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, that's how I remember so, OG Counter Strike. Hundred percent. Yeah. And so like Chinese slurs and and that it's it is the most derogatory setting of any of any video game. It's like crazy. I, toxic I, yeah, I think it's probably I think it probably is more toxic than League and League is pretty much up there as one of the most toxic games of all time. It's just like I'm playing casually and all everyone does is like is all there. Everyone is doing is just yelling at each other. It's I think like, it's the casual, proving. Just, I, th- I think it was the proving grounds for for all the toxic people to like grow and on in life more games came out then, yeah, yeah to evolve to become like the overlords of toxicity you know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's been really fun though because i <laughs> i used to love it's all the same maps pretty much i used to really love playing it all fps's are so bad but uh yeah the crazy thing about counter-strike game style like counter-strike and valorant whatever other games that are similar to it is like it's so different from other fps's in terms of like how shooting works what counter-strike like, i don't know if yeah, I don't know if it's so much more like if it's like realistic or whatever, but it's like you can't move and shoot ever. That just isn't a thing, right? Mm-hmm. Like because the bullet uh, drag or whatever you call it is just everywhere. And it's just such a weird it's so much like crouching and moving because you have to stop real quick and you have your reticule like goes back to being. Yeah. small. it's just a weird games. It's just a weird shooting like, you know, Halo, you're running and all you're doing is running and shooting. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Um, bouncing like around snipe, sniping is like so hard to do and yeah it's it's just crazy but it's been really fun because it's more so just fun because for nostalgia i don't really give a shit about it outside of any anything i'll probably stop in the next like couple of weeks but um it's been funny to play a new counter-strike in 2023 like what a what a word to, what a sentence to say out loud i literally you know? just had somebody in my steam just pop up and says no th- <clears throat> this person's not playing counter-strike too as you said yeah, that yeah. so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah was it was it <laughs> dom by any chance no, is he loading it up? Surprisingly, surprisingly, loading it up, getting a little bored. Been, that would have been very funny. I'm not getting a little bored. I'm honestly. kidding. I'm kidding. It w- yeah, but uh, and also still playing Phasmophobia a bunch just because it's like my favorite fucking game at this point. I think Phasmophobia might be my, fa- my one of my favorite games of all time. Hilariously enough, this stupid ghost hunting game is like one of my favorite games. Hey, whatever you enjoy. Speaking it's of just fa- so silly. Speaking of favorite games, uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage dropped like three days ago. Was, is, I didn't even know they were doing a new Assassin's Creed. Yeah, that was. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as, that's as a good OG one. Yeah. He says in the in the in the chat, if you you know at, that plot twist, that person calling you the N word is Connor. He's gone evil. Uh, oh wow, that's really so funny. good. That he was found a good you. That was a good he throwback. tracked you yeah. down. 
Connor. Callback. That was a good one. Uh, but yeah, no, there's a new Assassin's Creed called Assassin's Creed Mirage. It's an homage to the the original Assassin's Creed that takes place with uh, Basim. Um, I don't remember when. So it's like not. I don't know what the timeline is for the original one because uh, I think the original one was in like the ADs and this is BC or a CE or BC. It's common era, so CE. So it's like 800 something. I can't remember. But the, um, the, it's, it's, I mean, it's fun. It's, it's hard. Um, I'm, I was surprised at how difficult it is. Uh, or I just, I just suck at pairing because I was just like, I was just having like throwbacks to, uh, Sekiro. Uh, oh, I was just, like, I was just like, no, I can't do this. Did you say flashbacks or PTSD? I think PTSD yeah, is the correct like word. The, the Vietnam dog. Yeah, was... dude. Oh my God, bro. Fuck that game so hard, dude. I'll never forget. Find like thinking for a second, being like, I got this, I got this, like I could I could play this game. And then you find that valley where that dumbass snake is flying around all over the place, and I turn the game off and never put never walk never. I got I surprisingly beat that the first try on the snake thing. I did that the first try. That that was game. That that one goddamn. <laughs> See, it's, get, it's still getting it's you. Getting me, it's getting me choked up. Uh, <laughs> that one, that wasn't the one. The one that really got me was there's like one little knight that you had to go and fight, and you had to get into like this building, uh, and it took like five or ten minutes to get there because of all the people you had to like kill along the way, and like and like okay, cool, I got there. I like masterfully did this, and the guy comes in, and if you don't parry the first move, he kills you instantly. I was like, fuck. So it's like I got to the point where like, okay, cool, I got this. I was like, I got his health bar down. I got his health bar down. And there's a second health bar. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Like, yep. I can't believe there's a that second health bar. Right. I was like, all right, I'm not doing this game anymore. But anyway, the game uh, is quite fun and it really puts in, there's no levels anymore, which thank God there's no more levels. There's no less of an RPG element. It's just more of a stealth action game, which I kind of uh, find enjoyable anyway. And um, so yeah, you get, I mean, you get skills that you can level up, but there's no like, level per se there's no like gear that you have to find that's like randomly you have to buy and and then forge your equipment and want it like you used to in the original one so a lot of fun i'm probably only like a couple hours in because i just started playing yesterday Mm. but um and then i'm headed for you know work event um all this week so oh where are you going this week headed to la for adobe max so if anyone's going to adobe max and uh well it's not a trade show per se it's like adobe's um um their it's a creative, showcase. creative showcase. Yeah. Wait, when yeah. do you get back? Are you you kind of like Thursday? I get back Thursday. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Then you're okay. Cool. Yeah. So I, oh, yeah, I, I let me get post actually th- on Instagram about that ticket that Josh didn't want. Oh yeah. my god. I, I didn't want. <laughs> All right. So so anyways, about video games. Uh, so I bought two uh, video games. This week. I'm not done yet. Okay, go ahead. I'm anyway, sorry. Okay. No. Oh, well, no, anyway, no you, 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 you went to talking shit. So I. No, Don went to talking shit. I was true, still true doing. I'm okay. still trying to figure out. All right. I'll back off. How much was the ticket again? Enjoy it. Three hundred fifty dollars. I don't remember what it is. Three hundred fifty dollars. One sixty something. Actually? No. I forget what it is. I'll find <laughs> out. Uh, anyway, <laughs> game's fun. Highly recommend it. If you're an Assassin's Creed fan of the original, it's I. I would definitely recommend playing it. It's not like the last three at all. So if it's if you are a fan of Valhalla, Odyssey, and Origins, it's not that game uh, style whatsoever. It's definitely different. Yeah, combat is actually very hard. So the idea is to not get into combat. But um, if you are, if you find the right gear, you can make it so if you parry once or twice, you can instant kill people, which is what I'm trying to do. So, but then I have to go back to parrying, which is what's giving me, you know, PTSD from zero. So, <laughs> it's giving me anyway, PTSD. That's it. That's really the only game I'm playing besides the games I've been normally playing on my phone. So nice. Although there's that new game Dragon Air that just came out for um for uh, for mobile that is that i've seen a bunch of other people play i know uh osubd sent me the link to check out um it it's dragon se- era dragon air h-e-i-r mm. um it seems it seems okay i just can't it's like a D style it, it's try it sounds like they're trying to capitalize cap, cap, capitalize on <laughs> the <laughs> i'm trying to think of the word um it seems like they're trying to capitalize on the boulders gate stuff with how they're you know um, how it's being played, but it, the game looks good. Uh, I just haven't really figured it out. Um, and it's on the PC and Epic Store. Oh, interesting. Um, it's just another character collector game. So, but I can't. I can only do so much because I'm still playing Eternal Evolution and Lord of the Rings. And stuff. You love that Eternal Evolution game. I love that game. That game is great. Yeah. There's a collaboration event that's going on right now. That's kind of sucks, but whatever. Fine. Between the well, game and Ghost in the Shell. My mobile game now is 
Pokemon trading card game. <laughs> but um, it still counts. I'm uh, I'm still loving Baldur's Gate. Toronto and I got to Act Three. The game is absolutely fucking fire at this point. Like I, I, I yeah, I just got love to the two. game. It is uh, insane. Like my the the abilities that you get later on in the game are disgusting. Like my our characters are just op as hell. Like we're just duking everybody. Like it's not even fun. I mean, sorry. Fair. It's not even fair is the word I was looking for. But just uh, like it's not fun anymore. I just kill yeah. everything. No, it's, it's like, great. It's... We just we just mow everything down. Like we go up in these fights where it's just like these epic bosses or whatever. And we're just like blowing them up in one turn and we're laughing hysterically about it because it's just our characters are gross. But uh, yeah, yeah, now, we're now that I've actually now that I played the game and gotten in getting past act one like i understand yeah. it now so now i definitely want to get back i want to check out the um, yeah yeah sure you do um no i'm just kidding we gotta beat uh, me. First. <laughs> he we, we started we started a game with him and he and he was all you know oh i'm not really feeling this and i was like yeah, having a I, bla- was, I was playing a, a fighter and i was like had a two at two minute weapon i'm like walking around beating everybody's ass and he's like oh, i'm just not having very much fun i'm like this is awesome well i didn't really i hadn't really played that much and i stole something i got put in jail my character yeah. died and then no, i was I just remember like what happened and i was like you i was sitting there for me. like 10 minutes you're like we gotta come find you i'm like i'm dead we uh, we, we we spent we spent so long trying to find him that we finally found his corpse and he was like definitely dead as fuck like we could not resurrect him yeah it was it was, it was uh Man. Perfect. Yeah, I was trying to play Necromancer to try something else. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, he just ran off on his own and accidentally pickpocketed from somebody. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I didn't know what now. I was doing. And then he threw, and then he got thrown in jail, and you try to break out. Yeah, yeah, I get, I remember this fondly now. Yeah, so I was just like, it's just, it's, it's fine, but like yeah. I just wasn't having a. I was like, okay, I need to act. What it was is like I was playing. I needed to understand the mechanics of the game before I played in a party because you all were like. I wasn't w- listening to the story and whatnot, so I was like, it didn't really under. I didn't understand what was going. On. Now I know what the story is and everything. It's like it's more fun to play. Oh, I got so. you. Yeah, we were we were definitely just completely bypassing the story. Yeah. So if I can now that yeah. I know the story, I want to beat it once. Once I beat the story once, then I can hop in for sure because I, yeah. I like the fact that you can play with the team. So maybe we can resurrect that game once I get a little further. Mm. So I mean, anyway, yeah. Have you guys played a uh, Project Zomboid? I've played no. it on. They have it. They have it. Or I have it on Steam. I put it on my Steam Deck. I couldn't get into that game. Yeah, I wanted to really get into it because it looks fun, but it's like one of those games that it's almost like too complex. There's it's too definitely much going complex on. as shit. Like you have to like, and they're like, I looked up in the the community and read it. Like, well, you can do this, that, and this, and you have like mods you can do. And I'm just like, I, don't I just want to. I just want to try. Let's like, kill some zombies. Yeah, it's just like I want to give it a go. I don't want to like do a bunch of shit. It's like um, way too. It's like way too. It's like so fun because I, I I saw it online and I was like, oh, this looks like cute and fun. And I got it and I was like, oh my god, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Oh my god, my I cut my hands so I crawl through a window that's broken. Oh man, I suddenly my shoes are worn. So it's like all this shit. I was like, what the fuck? Why is this, why is there so much of this like hilarity involved? I just let me kill some zombies, dude. It's like catering to like the hardcore people out the well, gate. It's like they made. A like funny like eight bit Daisy, but like if I wanted to play it Daisy, I would play Daisy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, it definitely yeah. It was, it was a it was a I, I got it even though I think it was like ten bucks or something. I don't know. It's like technically yeah. I, I picked it up when it was on sale for like yeah, yeah. next to nothing. It's like yeah sure I'll you know indie game I'll sub I'll support the developers um, right. And I was just like not for me. What was that? What was that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not for me. Where are you going anyway. today? What you got going on? You had to be so you had to leave us. Uh, apple picking with the myaticos. Oh, okay, that that's perfect. Actually, I I fl- we I went apple picking two weeks ago. How, well, dude? Is picking. that not the most Connecticut fucking thing I've ever heard in my life? Isn't that like a that thing sound- for you guys? It's just it's a, a northeast, northeast thing. thing. Yeah. Is it a northeast, northeast thing? thing? Okay. Yeah. It's, okay. Very, it's a very common Sorry, not a Connecticut thing. thing. I didn't mean same, that in a condescending way. I just it's like the same it's, thing as like getting, you know, it, when you go to when you're living in the northeast, you go apple picking. It's the exact yeah. same thing as when you get off a plane, you're handed ecstasy and you'd be like, let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, now, now, okay, 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 okay. Same thing. Makes perfect yeah. sense. Okay, I got we went, you. Uh, I got we you. went a week or so ago and I Florida man understands. Twenty apples. Yeah. It's where are you guys going? I don't know yet. Is it in Connecticut or is it in No, it's in it's in New Jersey actually. Oh, Jer- oh, yeah, I mean, that makes sense, yeah. We went to a place called Du Bois Farms. Spelled Dubois, but of course, they're like, no, it's du- it's Du Bois. It's like, <laughs> Du Bois? 
But yeah, it's like a key farm. The apples boys. were tight, dude. Oh my god. Oh boys. We brought home like twenty apples and Mallory's like, I'm gonna make a pie with them. And I was like, No, you're not. Because I ate them. <laughs> I ate all of them. <laughs> Dear boys. Duh boys. Maybe we'll go to that one. I don't know where we're actually going. But either way, uh yeah, looking forward to that. But Anyway, what's coming out that you guys are looking forward to? Anything oh, I actually out? bought Detective Pikachu Returns. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to play it. Is it a game, yet. or are you talking about the? Yes, it is a game. Oh, it I thought it was game. like the movie. No, 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 no. It is, it is, it is an actual way. game. I, the movie was, I love that movie. Yeah, the movie was great. Um, this, this was because uh, Detective Pikachu was an actual game, and then this is a follow up to that. And um, oh, cool. I haven't played it yet because my friend uh, Sierra, she wanted to play it with me and she couldn't come over on Friday night for whatever reason, or she got over late. I don't remember why, but um, we haven't had a chance to get into it yet. So I will have something to report on that. Um, yeah. What's coming out soon though, is a really good question. I don't know. Oh, uh, Super Mario RPG remake comes out on November 16th, which I am super duper excited about. Um, well, you know, it's funny. I I'm, they keep saying it's going to be in winter 2023, but there's been no fucking updates since then. But the new uh, Space, Space Marine 2 is supposed to come out any time in the next two two months, but there's no release. That's that's the one that was, that's like um, uh, World <laughs> War Z, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the one that you posted that looks actually kind of fun. It looks awesome. It. I really want to play it, but there's like no, there's no like anything in regards to like when... It's coming out. I really want to play Sea of Stars personally. Like Sea of Stars for me yeah, seems I mean, like it's right, right up free. my fucking alley. No, it's not free. It's on the Switch, but uh, and it might be on. Here, let I thought me it was check. free on PlayStation. I want to say it's free on PlayStation. Is I it free on PlayStation right. Plus? Yeah, maybe. Which, yeah, by I mean, the way, I don't have anyone hurt. Not that this helps us, but they actually upgraded PlayStation Plus where it includes movies now. Oh, interesting. If you're, if you're into that, so like, this what, like, on what? Steam. What like uh pl- like what movie platforms like what yeah like what studios or whatever I don't know I don't know I don't know Interesting. I just saw Anyways, it pop up in one of my emails. It basically to me looks like a I mean Stan's already beaten it and he said it's it's uh it reminds me of a couple different games but like when I was watching the the trailer for it it uh it definitely reminds me a lot of like how Chrono Trigger played and how it just kind of strikes oh, really? me as like yeah it kind of strikes me as like a modernized version of how game, chrono trigger would be played on a on a modern console um turn-based rpg style but like i'm just i'm just saying like the movements the mannerisms even like the i don't know just the overall <clears throat> just design i don't know it just it just really reminds me of it heavily um but it looks like a very it's a very old school classic looking rpg that has modernized graphics they call it what do they call it? it's like a um 2d 3d or something i don't i don't know what they call it there's like a there's like a, there's a word term they use for it yeah there's like a term yeah. for the type of like modern it's like 2d modernized kind of gaming but anyways i i love i think the game looks phenomenal it's gotten amazing reviews across the board so if you're a big rpg fan i would definitely look into trying it out um that's high on my list and then super mario rpg on november 16th and I feel like there's what else another game out. that's coming out soon. Like I think before the end of the year, I was like, "Fuck, another one." Um, can't remember which one. <clears throat> I don't know. If you can think about it, and you're watching this on YouTube, like- leave it in the comments in the below, <clears throat> and I will check it out. But yeah, a lot of a lot of games to play. <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to see what else is coming out. Like, there's just like a bunch of games, but like, not, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's, there's a lot of games coming out, but it's like, oh, Endless Dungeons, the other one that I want to try. Yeah, that I I probably will try I wanna, that out. I want to try Endless out, Dungeon because yeah. um, I've Stan's talked a lot about it, and I want to see it. And also, I think the uh, season two of Diablo four is coming out in like nine days, the seventeenth. Mm-hmm. So I actually I might try it. But I got, I'm trying, well, the goal for me is I need to beat Assassin's Creed and then I need to beat Baldur's Gate and then I'll give it a go. But the season, from what they, from what I've seen of people recapping of it and what Stan talked about in the, um, in the chat, it seems cool, but I don't necessarily know if I need to play it because I've already finished everything I can do in it. And unless they add more stuff oh, to do at the end, um, it's in February. probably not super fun, but yeah, Final Fantasy but. seven. Uh, Rebirth comes out February 29th. Huh. But 
that I'll definitely be buying. What game? Uh, Final Fantasy VII, the second half of the remake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rebirth. Yeah, yeah for sure. February be, 29th. That's a that dungeon. What the fuck is that that pretty Stan ways is away. always playing like every game that exists. Well, Stan's, he's dungeon? a full-time streamer now. That's what he does. I get it. I mean, fair enough. I, I don't know how it just keeps there's it's like too much it's, to keep too, up. I mean it's too it's definitely too much to play. But yeah, I definitely want to try Endless Dungeon for sure. Um, Yo, cool looking graphics. Yeah, it looks super rich. It's and it's not that expensive too. It's like forty bucks, I want to say. I'm looking right now. Really cool. I want to wait to Persona cool. Five Tactica, Turok three, Call of Duty Modern Warfare three. Oh, the no, Call of Duty uh, Mobile Warfare Mobile is coming out Tekken uh, November first. I want to say Prince of play, Persia, Alone in the Dark. Like these are the big name titles that are coming out. Like none of those games really makes me feel like a f- like I'm a bat like a fake gamer or something because I just don't have any interest in any of these games that are coming out. No, it's just no. It's not. You just, listen. We're at the age now. Fake I've been say, I've been saying this for like ten years, let alone at the age now. But like. We're at the age where our time is limited and you only want to do things that you want to do, like for sure. And so, yeah, I, you know, I don't have really. No, you're just a fake gamer. I'm just a fake gamer. (laughs) I'm I'm going to play my Pokemons, my Pokemans. Do your Pokemans. I need a new Resident Evil game. Come on, guys. It's like all I, that's all I care about. Resident Evil, World of Warcraft. I'm almost done with World of Warcraft. I've got one phase left and then I, I'm. I'm gonna put it We're to rest. Almost done. Uh, we've heard that before. I'm gonna put it to rest. For real or for fakes? For fakes. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Does a heroin addict ever really recover oh from heroin? God. I'm kidding. I mean, <laughs> yeah, when they completely cut it out. And yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I am told. I was. That was a very facetious statement. It was not meant to have any seriousness behind it because I am well aware of my. Crack crack addiction. Okay, I gotta go poop now. So all right, goodbye. Okay. Well, goodbye. thanks everyone for coming out. Love you guys. Uh, Dom, Dom's gotta go do some things. Get here about um, my Pokemon adventures next time. We're gonna do all that stuff. You can find us on Instagram at OG.podcast or Twitter's over Cheevers P or website OG Podcast.fm where we get this episode. Every episode we're talking about what we're playing, what we're looking forward to, some beaming. All right, nest. Dom, you can go poop now. Bye. <laughs> Wait, you didn't start the recording. I don't want to ruin it. I can edit it. Fine. All right, bye all. <laughs> <laughs>